powered by nuclear energy. That is DJ Mondo, and welcome to another episode of the Atomic Luau and another episode of Sketch Lab. This is the show where we do some sketching, as the name suggests, and um, a show where I kind of show some of the sketch techniques that I use and some of the software that I work with, and also to just to relax and do some drawing. Uh, hopefully you can hear the soft music in the background. This is for relaxation here. The um, reason I'm doing this is I've kind of vowed that I was going to take the some of the million or so sketches that I have uh, on my iPad and, and sketchbooks and things like that and turn them into some kind of finished art in the coming year. Um, so as a result, I've taken some of the sketches and worked them up. One of the things that I'm working on right here, right now is, uh, I guess it's called an ash can in the industry, in the comic book industry. It was like a, uh, a little six page drawings, uh, sequence that's kind of a proof of concept for the, uh, the comic book that you want to put out. Uh, this one is kind of a pre- preliminary precursor story to the uh, to the tale of DJ Mondo uh, involving a uh, a bar in the future and uh, I call the story bounce because it involves bouncers and uh, an unruly patron at this bar but uh, so far I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the inks in uh, in clip studio paint uh, however the uh, Clip Studio Paint on my Mac Mini. However, the drawing was started on the iPad and uh, using the application Procreate. I started it in Procreate, moved it over to Clip Studio Paint on the iPad. Now, because of the cloud service that Clip Studio Paint has, it's just as easy to move it over to um, Clip Studio Paint on the Mac Mini. The tools are exactly the same for both the iPad version and the Mac Mini version, uh, and the Mac version of it, the Mac desktop version. And uh, it's just a, an absolute joy to work on. It's every tool that you need. It's as if Photoshop was made for a comic book artist, and uh, everything that you need to cut frames, do <clears throat> word balloons or anything like that. And I haven't even done a deep dive into all of the tools that you have for this uh, for this application. But um, but it's quite fun. Uh, anyway, just a quick run through of the of the pages that I've got here. Oh, um, before I do that, just want to let you know that what kind of Mac Mini I'm working on. I'm still one of, working on one of the core uh, Intel Mac Minis. This is an i7. Um, hopefully I can uh, upgrade to the uh, one of the M1 uh, Max Mac Minis in the near future. The Mac Mini is really the uh, unsung hero of the Apple line of uh, of um, desktop computers. It's small and compact, but really powerful. You can get them really powerful. Put extra RAM in them, and uh, and they really do a lot to get to uh, to get the job done. Um, mine is currently running uh, Ventura and uh, with no problems, nice and snappy. And um, I'm also working on a Cintiq 24 inch uh, tablet monitor, um, which I, I like a whole lot. This has changed my world um, and really given me a whole lot of capabilities uh, that I didn't have before. If you like working on a bigger surface than the uh, than the iPad, not that the iPad is uh, the iPad Pro is any slouch for drawing, but if you really want to get that good arm swing in there when you're drawing, um, the Cintiq 24 is is a great item to work on. Um, but as I said, as I mentioned before, everybody thinks that Cintiq is like the industry standard for for drawing and doing digital art and stuff like that. But there's a lot of up and coming companies out there that are making um, touchscreen monitors that are just as capable for nowhere near as much money but um so definitely look into those 
Uh, anyway, um, a quick run through of the uh, of the pages here. Uh, as you see before here, page one is a couple of establishing shots and some dialogue. Um, page two. Let's get back here. Place two establishes a little bit more of the, of the um, subordinate characters and the environment here. They're in front of a bar. Um, all of those bottles and things in the background were made with uh, just by you know doing a little bit of drawing and duplicating those and putting them into the scene to try to give it a little bit more depth. Uh, page three is when the action starts, when this uh, guy with spider legs tries to rob the bar and the the owners of the bar, the bar owners, the Space Cowgirls, go into action. And um, the first one uh, boss throws her whip. And that um, wraps the guy's arm and electrocutes him with uh, hopefully that uh, Jack Kirby style uh, uh, drawing there. Uh, bad guy fires back and on this page in particular the the bottom panel I'm going to replace because I don't like the angle of action there it kind of um, it kind of does a, a total 180 on the uh, on the action there and I don't like that so this is actually gonna the whole panel is the whole bottom panel here is going to be replaced with another panel entirely that I think encapsulates the action a little bit better um, and I'm gonna do that in another app and import that so when the time comes you'll see uh, what I mean by that and uh, another character and at that point another character comes in Chubbs comes in with a shield and uh, and then uses her Oops, hold on, let's open that page. And then uses her um, repulsor beam to disarm the suspect. Uh, at that point, um, Sididi runs in with a pair of nunchucks, a pair of electric nunchucks, and with an assist from Chubbs, um, takes the guy out. Uh, it may be difficult to see. Uh, at this point, but I'll overlay some, and I'll overlay some um, sound effects and things like that will be overlaid later. Then there's a final dialogue and they exit. So right now I'm inking uh, this, I'm in the process of inking this page here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the uh, the cyborg character here with the uh, with the inks and then we're going to uh, then we'll move on to the next page because like I said I'm skipping this bottom panel down here um, let's shoot for a solid half hour of inking here and uh, maybe we'll go a little bit longer uh, but let's just relax I'm going to move my tools over to the other side of the palette here because I'm reaching across the camera.
loose with this. goal in the new year is to do more drawing and to do more relaxing so hopefully this kills two birds with one stone it's just an expression I don't kill birds flash Thank you. 
windows. Three top panels on the next page. Just like I said, I'm skipping that one at the bottom there. Layers look like. Let's add an ink layer. New raster layer. Master layer on top of that for inks. And let's take the opacity down on the cleanup layer a little bit. Just gonna draw some new frames in here. The easy way is to make a couple of rectangles and then erase the excess. There we go. be so much easier if we converted this layer to vectors. Vectors you can do anything which I just might convert these to vectors if I really want to do some editing of the line widths and stuff like that. Vectors are great. I never knew how great vectors were until uh, uh, at least for comic books until I started using Clip Studio Paint.
some really thick lines. I'm going to go really thick Kirby style lines for uh, for this.
guest of the Atomic Luau stay at the luxurious Mondo Arms. The Mondo Arms, where comfort is king. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap!
This robot hand is supposed to have spike knuckles on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to include those, though. But, I don't know. It changes as I go along. See what the, that may affect the continuity, so. Um, that's okay. Decide as I go along. Who's going to care? finish out that hair and then decide what we're going to do about the gauntlet Cypher. I'm doing a um, 
working on that six page ash can that I was working on before thanks for dropping by Progress is slow, but so, I think I'm going to leave out the brass knuckles here. How did it go? Good. Hope you feel better. Can you hear the meditation music? Is it coming through good? Good. It's an added uh, ASMR feature, so uh, to relax any viewers, the uh, the goal here is to uh, is to draw more and relax more, like I mentioned at the beginning. So that's the uh, that was the New Year's resolution. No, oh, so far, so far it's working. Clean up. Oh, we had time. Coming up on about eight minutes before we close out. Let's clean it up. But at least we got one panel out today. That's good. Okay. 
good. Not sure what I'm going to do in the background here, but uh, but it is kind of a darkened club, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe some ceiling lights or something because the uh, the angle's kind of low here, so we'll see how that works. The next panel is going to be kind of a challenge because I was trying to do that uh, that Jack Kirby effect, but uh, I don't know how successful it's going to be uh, when it's inked, but let's give it a try. Actually, let's close off that frame as best we can. We need to do a um, fill bucket or something like that. I don't want it bleeding out onto the rest of the page. Yep, just an hour.
right, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here um, and pick up at the energy crackle uh, in the next session because um, I think that's going to be the well, I don't know. I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be difficult. But I just kind of want to make it look convincing. I think the the real problem will be when uh, you actually start the coloring. So, for example, um, inside the energy field around her fist will be a different color from outside, um, in order to kind of enhance that. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, hopefully, uh, Jack Kirby will be proud once <laughs> once it's done. But. Uh, but we'll see. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Another thing, another problem that I might see is the um, the the stockings here in the uh, in the left panel. Um, there's a flower pattern at the top of the stockings there that uh, that I'm gonna put on before you color the stockings. And again, the the coloring is going to is going to make the difference. So you're always kind of unsure how much inking you want to put on. Um, and you know how much the how much translation the inking is going to take care of versus how much the coloring is going to take care of so um we'll see how that goes but again anything is possible in clip studio paint i could go ahead and put a pattern on that and uh you know and do anything i want to it so um you know it's a great it is a great application and i, I don't and like i said i'm not even using it to its fullest extent here there's all kind of things that i could be doing with uh, 3d models and stuff in it so um so yeah definitely look into it and f with regard to the ipad it's the only it's one of the few prescription uh, i'm sorry prescription subscription uh applications that i use for ipad because it is definitely worth it 70 dollars per year definitely worth it and um you know cloud storage all that stuff so anyway uh have a good day thanks for dropping by cypher and um i will see you soon also i'll post this to uh to youtube i'll post this to youtube and uh check out my website djmondosrave.com and swing by and get some merch because i make merchandise based on uh based on the artwork that i do here so um hope you had fun and see you next time bye it's winning me my own free will. It's turning me my own free will. It's turning me my own free will.